وللہ المشرق والمغرب فائنما تولو حسم وجہ اللہ لاؤ پلیز نوٹ دیٹ دس ایڈریس ٹو دی بنی اسرائیل از کمنگ ٹو این اینڈ گریجولی اے ویری اسمال پارٹ آف اٹ ریمینس آفٹر دیٹ آئی ٹولڈ یو دیر آر فور سیکشنز آف دس سورا وچ ڈسکس دی سوئچ اوور آف دی فارمل امہ بینگ دی پوسٹ and the muslim ummah being installed in its position of representation of allah on earth a muslim ummah is the representative of allah on earth just as adam was made vice president of allah on earth the muslim ummah is a representative of allah on earth and now for that purpose kaaba because that was to become the tibla forever now now that meant it has been made the mere mention has been made of kaaba and masjid haram that it is still under the guardianship and control of the mushriks but because there was going to be a change of direction of the qibla from jerusalem to makka this ayah has appeared here walillahi almashriq wal maghrib because it was going to be a very big issue change of the direction of qibla for many people it became very a tricky type of problem so allah subhanahu wa taala you know has started discussing this issue that this direction of qibla it is nothing allah is not confined to any one direction east or west north or south all belong to allah whichever way you face that is the face of allah subhanahu wa taala is only for harmony for a discipline that a particular direction is fixed so that there shouldn't be chaos whole of the community should be facing in one direction the whole of the congregation you know that is facing in the same direction for only a direction is fixed not that allah is confined to that direction well this is actually something thinking very low of allah subhanahu wa taala that is the issue of this ayah walillahi almashriq wal maghrib mashriq and maghrib east and west all belong to allah subhanahu wa taala faina ma tawallu whichever direction you take and face fa thamma wajhu allah that is the direction of allah subhanahu wa taala that is the face of allah subhanahu wa taala that is the countenance of allah subhanahu wa taala inna allah wasiun alim allah is verily allah is all embracing all knowing in whichever direction you are facing actually it becomes the the direction of allah subhanahu wa taala is only for your convenience for a harmony for a discipline that a particular direction is given so that all the people or the members of the community are facing in the same direction nothing else wa qalu takhadallahu walada and they say that allah subhanahu wa taala has begotten a son now this is common to both the nasara the christians they say that jesus was a begotten son of allah subhanahu wa taala begotten son of god and the pagan arabs they had the belief that these angels were daughters of allah subhanahu wa taala so both had committed the same crime qalu takhadallahu walada subhana glory be to him he is above all these things he is exalted wal lahu ma fi samawati wal ardi kullu lahu qanitun instead everything that is in the skies and heavens and earth belongs to him and everything is surrendering to him in obedience everybody everything every creature angels jinns the humans all the animals all the skies and heavens everything is obeying him is in surrender before him badiu samawat wal ard wa iza qada amran fa inna ma yaqulu lahu kun fa yakun he is the originator of the skies heavens and the earth now please note here khalq and ibda these are two terms ibda from this is derived this badi ibda means creation ex nihilo creating something from nothing no matter now there was wood and the carpenter has made this table out of wood there is something and somebody makes something from that this is creation this is khalq Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala created men from the clay the clay was there and he created men out of clay Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala created jinns out of fire 
The fire was present prior to the creation of the jinns. But you know, in the beginning there was nothing. And that is Ibda. Creation ex nihilo. Creating something out of nothing. So Allah is the creator of this universe. And he has created all these things from nothing. And then after that he is creating from, from one thing to another thing. Something and he creates another thing from it. But in the beginning it's Ibda. Badiyo samawati wa He is the creator of this universe, these heavens and earth out of nothing. وَإِذَا قَضَى أَمْرًا And we have, when he decides something فَإِنَّمَا يَقُولُ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ So he only says be and, he, and it becomes. He doesn't need any matter to create anything, any material to create anything. No. Only his command be كُنْ فَيَكُونَ And it becomes. His command is the only thing and it is all sufficient in the creation that is Ibda, that is creation ex nihilo. Badiyo samawati wa narwa idha qada amran fa indama yakulu lahu kun fa yakulu.